So hi, I'm going to show you how we can use the uh, the star tool, um, and just going to color this one here, uh, take up, uh, make it green, and then the yellow outline. Increase the um, the width of it to about 25. To use a star um, like this one here. Um, and from here we're just gonna uh, what I actually done here now when I duplicated was using the right click and tap and release and put them in line to each other you probably saw the little alignment guides and nice guides here they're very thin maybe on the screen for you but but they are there so we're just gonna top paste and move that about here. It's not so important right now uh, for this tutorial that they are exactly where I might like to have it in, in a finished design because I just want to show you basically how this works. So now we've done that we're going to continue with um, and with that we're just going to use the rectangle tool Let's hold that. No, that was wrong. Uh, I'm gonna so, so make it so it's there in the middle. Just gonna select everything and then C and E. No, sorry. Um, we first, of course, gonna group these, group them, and then we're gonna put this a little bit over there and select everything and center E. And then just gonna make this a little bit smaller by dragging this into because we're gonna cut this with the intersect tool. And then um, I'm just gonna remove the outline and choose a blue color. And what we're now gonna do is to uh, what we're now gonna do is to use the intersect. And now we're just gonna for show, remove this blue here now, and then we usually just delete, but I'm just gonna keep this here so you see how different they are. So I use the blue, I'm gonna keep that for reference for a color later on, but you saw that I used it for intersecting and cutting them out. And from here I'm just gonna use the, the ball, or the circular tool, sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna make a ball. Um, so we're just gonna make a little bit uh, well, we'll leave it at that. And then we can uh, remove that one as well and just paint it blue like that. So it's blue. From here, we're just gonna, uh, now we're gonna use the select this one here and drag down so you get it perfectly centered horizontally and vertically. Uh, sorry for that one. You have to select that, it's easier because you get the that one here. Then we're going to select this one and hold here in the, in the, in the middle here. So we place it in the middle. Uh, and what we now have to do actually is to make this circular um, to wind up in the back. We're just going to order it to go uh, to back to the page so we can see these stars that I already made. And we're then going to go to the envelope tool and up here we're going to choose the circular tool. It's kind of neat, isn't it? So, because the circular was a little bit taller than I, than I had expected, I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. Now you see that they're up outside the, uh, the circular tool. What I'm going to do now, you can do differently, but I'm going to actually right click and put it in a, in a power clip. So now they're perfectly inside, and already now we have a blue ball here. So what we're now going to do is to make a additional blue. Of course, we already have these things here inside there. The palm clips. I'm just going to remove that. It looks a bit, a little bit extra work that I don't really don't have to do, but but I did it to save a little bit of time for this tutorial here. And this one here is going to go on top and it covers but that's not a problem because we're going to use the 
the um, transparency tool and go up here in the property bar when you select that and choose found and fill. Now we can see it underneath here. So um, we're just gonna use that. So we have a little darkness here. We're still not finished. Because what we're now gonna do is to go up to the property bar again and use merge mode here in Coral Raw and use the power clip. And the, the multiply, sorry. And with that done, we're just gonna remove the um, the outlines like that. And we're gonna remove this one here because we don't need those anymore. And now we have a ball, a round circular sphere with a, a, a tad of um, shadow there, don't we? We can see if we can increase the darkness here a little bit. That's more light. So we're gonna see if we can do a little bit more with that one here. Oh, we're gonna do it like that. So we will keep that. And I hope you liked it. Um, I've now made a ball with stars and it looks like a 3D object, doesn't it? Cool, isn't it? So what we're now gonna do, or what I'm gonna do now, is just play a little bit more and place here we can, we can do it like that, make another layer uh, and simply drag that down here so it, it, sorry, there it is, and put anything we do now on that layer. So we, uh, so I made this one here and then I'm gonna have, have a um, slightly darker there, do like that. And then I'm gonna take a on the lips to make a shadow, and then I'm gonna put it like that. And I'm, I'm looking here now because we have a light coming down here and it getting a little bit darker here. Shadow on the ball this way isn't that huge uh, or that dark, so we don't have to do too much of a shadow there, but yeah, so you get the point of it. So now what happens? Well, we're going to use the transparency tool again, only so we can get hold of the multiply again and make it a little bit darker there if you need that. And now we can actually make this one in this color. And we can also add a um, some sort of wall in the background and then make that into a curve and then use the shape tool and curve that a little bit like that and put a lighter background but that's a little bit too much we will go down here and see if we can use the multiply again yep and then we just uh, remove that and suddenly we have a ball with a floor with a shadow and a background Maybe that shadow is a little bit too much, so we can just put some opacity to that one. So we just uh, have it as we like it there. And we can, of course, just move that around a little bit however we want it. But I want to, sh to follow a little bit the shadow that I've already done. It doesn't have to be perfectly perfect, but you now see how this look one, how this looks like, and how easy it was to make. Uh, sort of 3D feel to a 2D image. Hope you liked it. Thank you for watching.